Sticks have become navigation guides for a majority of the residents here in the Bibi area, Nakuru County. After the flood waters formed some sort of lake on what used to be a major road within this area. <laughs> Not only have their farms been destroyed, but their homes too, forcing those affected to look for alternative shelter. We're helping them with food. The ones who are displaced, they are living with neighbors. We are, we are just assisting them to keep up uh, with whatever is happening. Also, we are encouraging them on social distancing and uh, uh, keeping safe because of the COVID-19. Over the last one week, only one person is recorded to have died after drowning in River Ndarogo. Now, what we have done, over 1,000 are uh, dis- displaced by water. We also have a problem in an estate in Naivasha called Kihoto, where quite some households maji mengia kutoka kwa lake. We also have a problem with uh, Barut, ward yanya iko Nakuru County, Nakuru town. Pia wame affectiwa na maji, over 500 people have been displaced. Pia huko pande ya Kiptagich, Kuresoi, tu, tukona shida ya maji pia. The situation was no different in Bomet County after heavy rainfall destroyed several bridges connecting various parts of the county. At least 200 families are said to be affected. We are planning to construct houses for them. Each family that was affected will receive 20 mapatis uh, just to start life once again. Otherwise, we have committed some money to purchase food stuff and distribution will be starting from today. With humanitarian agencies stepping in to assist those affected, residents living in flood-prone areas have been warned to move to safer ground. Sentiments that were echoed by Narok County Governor Samuel Oletunai, who was speaking during a donation exercise in Shartuka area, where 114 families were affected by the heavy rains. According to the Kenya Meteorological Department, the rains are expected to continue for the better part of the week, with Nzoye Basin expected to record heavy rainfall. Rakel Mugai, Citizen TV.